Ahmed for a Goldberg Green House. Okay, today's video we're gonna talk about ficus vivendica. It's sometimes called ficus amester or ficus alloy. It rarely sheds leaves and tolerates low light. And can be moved around without going into shock. The leaves of the ficus uh, alley are quite different than those of usual ficus trees. Leaves are medium, green, narrow, willow-like and thick. Ficus alley will be bright in direct light, however they can survive in medium light. The low light makes leaves larger. Rotate it weekly to maintain the plant's beautiful shape. Water when the top 2 or 3 cm of the soil has dried out. Water deeply so that the excess water drains out the drip holes in the bottom of the pot. Immediately empty excess water and do not allow a ficus alley to sit in water. Feed weekly with fertilizer. In the next videos, we will show fertilization and talk about it in detail. It is not necessary to feed the plant during the winter and fall. Never give too much. This can lead to burning of the roots. Look at the package carefully. I like the five Benjamin. These plants are much more tolerant of temperature changes and this ficus prefer temperature between 19 to 25 centigrade. The ficus alley prefers medium humidity but it still grows well in basic household humidity that is 40-50% relative humidity. Plants produce insignificant flowers and berries that should be removed as soon as they appear. Pets that attack ficus plants include whitefly, mealybugs, scale, and thrips. Grey mold or botrytis when leaves of ficus alley are kept too wet. Anthracnose is an other plant disease that can be a problem. Prune a ficus during the winter to maintain the shape of the plant and encourage a bushier plant. A ficus alley using two methods, stentic cuttings and air wire. Propagating ficus trees is not easy for the amateur to do at home. These trees are slow to root from either method. In a stem tip cutting, you take a tip cutting and culture in soil. Then it will root. In air layering, you wound the region of a stem by peeling the bark away. Then, wrap the moss around the cut and 
Sea kale eats with floral tides or plant twin. Ficus algae are poisonous plants. The sap contains latex that can cause skin irritations. Always wear gloves when pruning. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for subscribing us. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye.